Today we're going to show you how to change the receipt headers on your receipt. You may want to add your shop name, ABN, tax invoice, phone numbers, etc. You can actually change up to six lines on the receipt header, but today we'll just show you how to do the first two. The procedure is exactly the same, the only thing that changes is the line number. So we're doing line one of the receipt header. So from your setup guide, we turn to the PGM position using the C key. <clears throat> now we type in three because three means tells the register that we want to do receipt headers. Then we go zero 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 one for line one of the receipt header. Then we hit subtotal. Okay, so this means that we're ready to go. You notice on these keys here, there are little letters on each key. So you can use those letters to spell the words for your receipt header. So let's say we call this Hot Pos Cafe. So we type in H O T P O S and then the space is over here. Cafe C A F E. Once you're done, hit the subtotal. As you can see, if I just press the feed button, we've changed the line one, thank you. We've changed it to Hot Pos Cafe. Now, if you want to change the next line, that was line one, let's go to line two. So it's receipt header for three, zero, 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 two for line two. Hit subtotal. And now we might want to pop in the words tax invoice. So we type in T A X space I N for Nelly B O I C E subtotal. Just check that one. There we go. We've changed come again to tax invoice. And as you can see, it says line two. Okay, so we've changed line two. Now, if you wanted to change line three, you type in three double zero zero three. And line four, it's three zero zero four. Sorry, three zero 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 four. And then three zero 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 five is line five and 30006 is line 6. As you can see it's the same procedure every time and you'll find more information in our quick setup guide. However once you're finished with the receipt header you need to save your program and you just hit cache tend button to save. Now that it's saved you'll be able to enter a transaction so you can go back to the register position and you type in let's say five dollars on department one and then two dollars on department two click subtotal seven dollars let's take twenty dollars hit cash and there we go as you can see it says hot pos cafe and the tax invoice is at the top the date and time is um, actually already set um, you may want to check the time or change the time. Um, we'll show you how to do that in the next video.